Hi children, welcome to your home school. Today we are going to start with the numbers in mathematics. When we uh, recall about a mathematics word, when you listen, what you remember immediately? Numbers. Where do we use every day? We use numbers for counting purpose or many, many places we use mathematics. Okay, so let's start learning from its origin. Okay, many civilizations, many, many civilizations have developed their own way of symbols of numbers. Numbers are nothing but the symbols represent their own symbols to represent the numbers. So, uh, some of the, some of those are uh, Mayan numbers, ancient Chinese numbers, ancient Roman numbers, ancient Egyptian numbers, Babylonian numbers. What are these? These are all different varieties of numbers. The, the, their own numbers are different. Their own numbers, their, they won't have any one, two, three. Their own way of representing these numbers in different symbols there. Uh, in these, this is our number system. Modern Hindu Arabic number system. What is this number system? This compared to these all number systems, this is very easy to understand and easy to calculate in arithmetic multiplication. It might be division, calculation. These numbers are very easy. Okay, now when this system was developed, this system was developed by Hindu mathematicians in India. Okay, they carried these numbers to the west through Arabs. So, the name it is arrived as Hindu Arabic numbers. Okay, children, how it is arrived, this system is developed by the Hindu mathematicians in India and carried to the west by Arabs. And so it's uh, named as Hindu Arabic numbers. Hindu Arabic numbers is also called as Indian number system. Okay. Finally, this is a, just a little recap of your history. So now, what are these numbers? We are going to start learning what are the numbers. So our numbers are modern Hindu Arabic numbers and also called as Indian system of numbers okay children so what are these numbers what are these numbers here numbers are symbols that developed as a way to record amounts or quantities what are these numbers these are one type of uh, symbols which developed to represent the way of uh, recognizing or recording any quantities okay so now what is this number? What are the symbols we use? Okay, we use 10 symbols to represent our numbers. What are the 10 symbols here children? A number is also called as numeral also you can say. You can say it as a number also you can say. Okay, so what are the 10 symbols we use here? Zero. Okay, no number will start with a zero. Zero is also called as a placeholder. What is this zero children? Zero is also called as a placeholder. So what are the 10 symbols here? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now these are the 10 symbols and these symbols we call it as a digits. What are these children here? Digits. Okay, so now let's talk about digits later. Now what are these numbers or numerals? So in our, uh, so we start mathematics writing the numbers in words. Okay. What is number writing in word? So, that is also called as numeration. What is this children? Numeration or we talk in words. Write the number in form of words. How do you write this? How do you talk this symbol? This symbol we are calling it as zero. How do you write this? Z-E-R-O, zero. And this one, 
O N E one two. So like this, we go on writing every numbers. Okay, three. Then coming to four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these are the numbers which represent the symbols in order to count anything. So these are what these are the numbers which we write in words or numeration. So all this, when we call, we represent in symbol. When we write in words, we represent like this. So here, children, what are these uh, symbols? We call it as digits. So digits. By seeing the number, we can say it is a how many digits number. So look here. Uh, suppose if I write here nine, what do you say? It is a single digit number. Suppose I write like this. So what happens here? Here I have used two symbols or two numbers to represent a number. That is, there are two digits in this number. It is a two-digit number. Then next, two forty-five. So how do we spell? We are going to learn in our next class using place values. So here, how many digits we have here? Three digits. So similarly, if you go on increasing your digits. What do you say here? It is a five-digit number. So numbers, there is no ending here. It starts with this symbol and ends at infinite place. Okay. So these are the nine, ten symbols where we use in our mathematics. Okay, children. So once again, let's recollect here what we have seen today. Uh, in ancient civilization, what they have found, there are many type of numbers. In all these numbers, we use modern Hindu Arabic Indian system of numeration. Or sometimes we use Roman numbers. Do you know, children? In sub questions to represent, we use uh, Roman numbers. One, two. These are all Roman numbers. Okay. So how does it came? This Hindu Arabic system is uh, developed by the Hindu mathematicians in India, carried to the West by Arabs. So it's arised as Hindu Arabic number system or Indian number system. Okay, so here in this we use ten symbols to represent number. Number is nothing but it is a representation of a symbol to measure the. Quantity or uh, any to record any quantities. So here there are uh, many digits using the symbols. How many digits you use? All these symbols we call it as a digits. How many digits we use? We call it as a that many digit number. You may start counting here: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like this. So on. There are countless numbers here and whereas zero is also called as a placeholder we never start any number with zero see your children suppose if you start here zero five so it is a one digit number or a two digit number it is always a one digit number zero has no value here okay suppose the same zero if you have this sign Yes, it is a two-digit number. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this class. We are going to meet in our next session with our Indian number system and international system. Thank you, children.